Is it possible to make a do-it-yourself repairable laptop that you'd actually want to buy? It is. Next, the framework on Hands on Tech. This, this is Twit. Twit. When I heard about the framework laptop, I got very excited, as a lot of people did. The idea, the premise uh, was to create a laptop uh, that you could not only assemble yourself, but that you could repair yourself and even upgrade yourself. I immediately ordered it. This is it, the framework at frame.work online. And I have to say, I'm very, very happy with it. I think it's comparable in many ways to uh, the comparably priced Dell XPS 13, but with a lot of nice features. Let me show you the outside first, and then we're going to take it apart and take a tour of the inside. It's got one of those hinges that goes all the way to 180 degrees. Very nice uh, keyboard, soft touch keyboard, trackpad, fingerprint reader, which is great. And I love a 3 bit 2 screen. That's something that Microsoft has really made popular with its surface line. There's just something about 3 by 2 instead of an extra wide that's great for the kind of work I do. Maybe not for watching movies, but for surfing the web for email and mostly for me for coding it's just great now this is running Linux you can get it with Windows or no operating system at all installed I opted for no operating system that saved me a little bit of money and it runs Linux perfectly I'm using the latest version of Manjaro the Manjaro M-A-N-J-A-R-O distribution uh, and I have to say I was very impressed because not only does everything work out of the box the screen the trackpad, the keyboard, even the volume keys and the other function keys, but even this funk, the uh, fingerprint reader, which is great. I put my fingerprint on there and it unlocks immediately. Really pretty amazing. There are a lot of Linux distributions that don't support fingerprint readers. Uh, oh, the key ring did not get unlocked. So let me just unlock that real quickly. And now here we are in the uh, Manjaro desktop. I love a 3 by 2 screen. It's perfect for the kind of work that I do, coding especially. Uh, but also, uh, you know, here's a terminal, browsing, email, that kind of thing. Excellent quality. You can see the color's good. It's really a, a nice piece of kit. Um, not super light, but not super heavy either. And the price is right. Now, here's one of the things I really like. When you buy it, there's two different ways you can buy the Framework laptop. You can buy it ready-made with some stock configurations, or you can buy the what they call the DIY version. And then you just kind of get a bare-bones uh, kit, and you have to insert the RAM, the hard drive, the uh, Wi-Fi radio, which is an Intel module, that's probably the only piece in here that's a little bit hard to get working with Linux because it's a brand new Intel Wi-Fi 6 module. I think it's 6E even, and so it's you know it's a little bit uh, tricky for some Linuxes, but again, the Manjaro worked just fine. You also can choose these modules on the side here. This is quite clever. They actually uh, ship this with basically four USB-C ports, one on either side, and then you can order the connectors you want. So I like USB-C slash Thunderbolt, and so this is a Thunderbolt laptop. And so for the most part, I, I, I prefer to use the Thunderbolt modules. I got two of those, one for the left, one for the right. But of course, you can put them anywhere you want. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, and even move them around later, and they're very easy to install just by sliding in and clicking them into place. And then I also got an HDMI port. They have other ports available. Uh, and I got a traditional Type A USB port. That, for me, seemed like the best configuration. But I can go back at any time to Framework and get different ports. And you can see how easy they are to take out and uh, slide back in. But the real magic happens when you open it up. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five Torx screws on this laptop. They do send you a Torx screwdriver, so you don't have to have one. This flips around and does a Phillips head on the other side. It also has, conveniently, a spudger, and I'll show you why we might want that spudger on the other side. Uh, these, All of these screws are captive, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about them falling out, losing them on the floor, or anything like that. And this is a laptop they encourage you to open up. You're not going to be violating a warranty. There's no strip of paper that you have to break to get in here. They want you to open it up. In fact, in this one, just to get it working, I had to open it up. Once I've released all five of these screws, it's very easy to pry this bottom piece off. That's why they give you the spudger, because it's held in by magnets. So you might have to kind of uh, pry it loose a little bit. I should have turned off the laptop before I did this, but 
<laughs> it's all right. We'll like, we like to live dangerously. Everything comes out of here. Everything. The keyboard, the uh, screen. There's only one cable, and that's the cable attaching the keyboard to the motherboard. And it's pretty easy to detach that right here. Now, the first thing, oh, by the way, similarly, you can pry this off. You can replace the screen. You can replace everything. And notice, when you look inside, everything's QR coded. So if I, if I shine this, uh, my, my camera on this, um, QR code, there it goes. Open that up, and it's going to take me right to the Framework page. It describes what the component is, how to order another one from Framework, and how to install it. All the install instructions are online. It doesn't come with any install instructions, but it was very easy. You can see the battery is replaceable. These are the speakers left and right. By the way, they're fairly credible. They're down firing, but they sound pretty good. Here's the Western Digital Black NVMe M.2 SSD that it came with. And because it's a standard M.2 drive, you know, you can upgrade it easily. Similarly, the memory, it has two slots. I got 32 gigs of RAM. That only fills one slot in the, with this crucial memory stick. Again, you could get your own memory. This is a standard DDR4. Um, there's two channels, left and right. Uh, this is the Intel Wi-Fi card. This was the only thing that was at all tricky to install. I had to take the antennas out, connect them to the card, take this little protection uh, sheath off and so forth, but not difficult. Love it that everything's QR coded. There's no mysteries. Even the motherboard, this is the motherboard right here underneath the memory and the hard drive. Even this is replaceable. Now, in theory, as long as framework does well and stays around, this will be upgradable, which means if down the road, this i7 that I got is a little underpowered, I'll be able to put a new motherboard in with a presumably faster processor. That's all dependent on framework surviving. So I want them to survive because I think this is a great thing. Magnets hold the keyboard in. Uh, I won't put it together uh, on camera, but uh, it, it's nice to know this is very easy to replace if you uh, spill water in it or whatever. Everything in here is repairable. In fact, it's great. iFixit gave it a 10 out of 10, the highest possible score for repairability. A couple other things I'd love to point out. Uh, this camera and microphone have physical on-off switches. You see I have it off right now. It won't work until I turn it on. If you're a privacy uh, buff, you'll be glad to know you can turn those off. It's actually a better camera than comes in the Macintosh laptops. It's a good uh, 1080p camera. All in all, excellent screen, um, great keyboard, use, very usable trackpad, a functional uh, fingerprint reader that works with Linux. This is a really nice laptop, and it is not a premium price, nor does it feel at all janky. It doesn't feel rattly, even though I put it together. <laughs> Once everything's in place and screwed down, it holds down really well. I'm just impressed, and I really hope these guys maybe take on I, uh, phones next and make a smartphone that's repairable. What a concept that would be. Replaceable batteries? What are you talking about? This is, this is fantastic. Uh, congratulations to Framework on designing a really nice laptop. Works really well. And then putting the love and thought into QR codes, easily assembled, um, three by two screen. This is my current favorite laptop. It's a joy to use and it's repairable. Yes, it can be done. That's a happy note. I'm going to end on a sad note. This is our last hands-on tech episode. I'm sorry, but it turns out there's, uh, you know, a lot of other places we can put these reviews, including our tech break feed. Uh, all of the people uh, who do this show loved doing it. Thank you, Anthony Nielsen. He's our editor and uh, thanks to all our technical staff and, of course, all our hosts who review products, Ann Pruitt and Jason Howell, uh, Florence Ion, Micah Sargent, all of the people who worked so hard on this show. And thanks most of all to you for watching and listening. We really appreciate it. We will continue to do product reviews, I promise, but it just won't be on Hands on Tech. You could leave the feed alive. You can leave the subscription alive. If we have anything really exciting, we'll put out a special. But for now, that's it for Hands on Tech. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching. Hands on Tech.